My name is Alex Offerdahl. I'm the president of Watson Associates. We're a specialized consulting firm, and our primary responsibility is developing new forms of crop insurance. Over the last 25 years, we've built programs for six different countries and about 65 programs for the U.S. and Canadian federal governments. The project started further back than people realize. About 10 years ago, when the project was really just an idea and not a single shovel of dirt had moved, it became clear that producers were going to have to be compensated if the resulting project created damages for them. If their fields were inundated, if their planting was delayed, they were going to have to come up with some way to make sure that producers aren't hurt as a result of helping the people of Fargo and Moorhead avoid being flooded themselves. So our team was brought in very early on to try to figure out how often an event like that would occur and if it did occur, how much damage those producers would be dealing with. From the very start of the project, the idea was to make sure that producers wouldn't be taking a hit as a result of the inundation and instead that compensation would be made available for them. One of the critical elements of development of a new program is to work directly with the producers who are going to be affected. And because it's insurance and it's technical and it can't exist in an ivory tower, that means finding folks with dirt under their fingernails and asking them the right questions. So we assembled a set of focus groups, producers who operate within the upstream area and are going to be directly affected by some of these events. And basically we took our ideas for what we thought an insurance program would look like and let them stress test it. What if this happens? What if that happens? What if the events are more severe than you anticipated? What would be asked of me as a producer? How do I demonstrate these losses? And when can I expect to get paid? And because the producer's perspective and experience is so valuable, we thought that that first meeting was just a starting point. So every couple of months since then, we've gotten back to producers. All right, here are the questions that you asked last time. Here's our attempt to answer them. Do these answers make sense? And when it comes to where the rubber meets the dirt, are you getting what you need from the program?